Today we're going to be making a Pinterest inspired dress using the wiggle pattern from Patterns for Pirates. Stay tuned! Begin by cutting out your wiggle dress at the above knee cut line for the front and back pieces of your dress. Then cut out your sleeves at the three quarter inch length or whatever your sleeve preference may be. Next we're going to create our flounce. We're going to begin by folding the fabric in half and then again in half to create our circle skirt pattern. We're going to use an online skirt calculator to figure out our measurements. We're going to pretend that our waist is actually the hem of the wiggle dress. We're going to measure around that and enter that into our circle skirt calculator. Then add eight inches for the length or however long you want your flounce and create your flounce pattern. So for these you need one flounce, two sleeves, and a front and a back of the dress. I apologize I lost some of my video here. I'm beginning by sewing the center back seam of the dress and the shoulder seams together. To determine where I wanted the flounce to hit, I put my dress on my mannequin and measured. I wanted 41 inches for my total length of the dress with the flounce. So I determined where I wanted my flounce to begin, marked that measurement, and cut off the excess portion from the wiggle dress. After sewing the shoulder and back seams together, it's time to insert your sleeve. The wiggle dress has you insert your sleeves in the flat. After sewing them together, I like to use my soft and stretchy hem tape to stabilize the sleeve hems. You're going to fold it a half inch towards the wrong side and top stitch them closed. I am doing this before sewing it down the side seams, but you can do this after you sew your sleeves and side seams closed. I am now going to close my side seams. I'm going to match up my arms from the hem to the underarm and stitch. Then I'm going to pivot at the underarm and sew all the way down to the hem of the dress. Then repeat on the other side. It's time to turn the dress right side out and take your flounce piece and your dress hem and mark them in four even spots, otherwise known as the quarter points. Now we're going to put our flounce and our dress hem together, right sides matching up those quarter points and pin them together. Finally, we're going to sew the flounce on using a stretch stitch and after finishing, press your seam allowance up. Now it's time to insert your elastic in your neckline. You're going to begin by making a loop and sewing it securely closed with a zigzag stitch going back and forth several times. Now it's time to mark the quarter points in our elastic just like we did on our flounce and our dress hem. We're going to also mark the quarter points in our neckline. Be careful because the quarter point is not exactly at the shoulder seams on this dress. Now pin your elastic using those quarter points to match up your marks on the wrong side of the fabric and stitch it using a wide zigzag stitch. You will need to stretch your elastic only while you attach it to the neckline making sure you are not stretching the fabric. Now take your elastic and turn it towards the wrong side of your dress. It's time to top stitch the elastic. For this, I like to use a zigzag stitch going slowly around the neckline 
making sure I am catching the edge of the elastic, not the finished edge, but the raw edge of the elastic to prevent rolling. Again, you may need to stretch slightly as you are going along, but making sure you're not pulling your fabric. It's time to give your project a final pressing. I like to use a spray bottle to help create some steam, especially when ironing over the elastic neck opening. And that's it. I hope you enjoyed this look at our Pinspiration dress.